One of the reasons the Psalms have been considered as standing among the greatest literature of human history is because they're seen as a mirror of the human condition. Truly, you can find in the Psalms the entire range of human emotion, of experience. But the fascinating thing about the Psalms is I like to think of them as a mirror with a difference. Yes, they reflect something of us, and that's beautiful and that's important. But they also do something else. They invite us to praise where we might simply move through the world with positivity and a general sense of thankfulness. They invite us to lament, to truly find hope within our grief and suffering, rather than simply giving us an expression of our grief and our suffering. They move us to see that we are in a story in which God is moving and active that he is present in all of our circumstances rather than leaving us in a story that begins and ends with you and I. We're invited into a story when we read the Psalms, when we pray the Psalms in which God is at the center of the cosmos, the relentless love of God, the unyielding love of God sits at the middle of the cosmic story and at the middle of your story and mine.